Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I am going to teach you new control flows which are introduced in Angular uh, 17. So many of you must have upgraded to Angular uh, 17 and you must be unf unfamiliar with the new uh, control flows uh, which are used in uh, Angular 17. So whenever we upgrade to new version, so we have to make sure that we, we are also using the uh, latest uh, features which are provided by the uh, Angular uh, team, right? So in this video, I am going to uh, teach you like how we can utilize this uh, new Angular uh, control flows. Okay, so so first we will start with the if uh, keyword. So earlier, so whenever we have to use the uh, if conditions, right? How we used to do? So we used to write uh, div, and within that we used to uh, say ng if, and here ng if. And here we need to, we used to give the uh, variable and then uh, whatever uh, we need to print okay so if this condition is true then we used to uh, show the this particular division altogether now uh, it's uh, changed in angular 17 so here what you need to do you need to use at the red symbol and you just need to write if and and here you need to uh, write the condition okay so here in my component dot ts i have created one variable which holds the value as yes okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to write if co and d is equal to equal to yes then then print I mean you can add anything like p tag i am yes okay and now uh, let's see uh, in browser it's visible or not so this is you can see over here it's getting uh, printed right so let me split this screen into half and let me increase the zoom so that you will be able to see it better okay so now uh, if you will ask that uh, what if we have uh, we have the else condition so in that case you just need to write else and your code of block would be in the, uh, this uh, block okay so i will just copy paste the same thing over here and here i will say no so right now since this if condition is true only i am yes is getting printed so i am changing this to no okay so now you see this line of code is executed so in this way you can utilize if else condition in the uh, new angular control flows okay and majorly we use uh, if uh, conditions in our html uh, code right so in this way going forward you would be uh, using this particular uh, things okay so now let's move to the uh, most used uh, directive which is ng4 right so earlier we used to use the star ng4 uh, uh, particular keyword now we would be using at the rate 4 okay so here i will say at the rate 4 and let me uh, complete this block and uh, i have created one variable items which holds the name and id okay now if we have to iterate over this uh, object of array of object then we used to use the star ng4 directive now here what we need to do is we can say we can give any variable like here i will say item of items correct so items means uh, that particular variable and here now it's uh, giving me some errors okay because i have not uh, finished this code so here you can give the semicolon and here you need to uh, provide track and here you can mention item dot id okay and i will uh, tell you what is the important of this uh, track thing and here i am just printing li and within that i need to let's say a uh, print 
आइटम डॉट नेम राइट सो इट इज गेटिंग प्रिंटेड जॉन स्टीवन रमेश एंड इलॉन सो यू आर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी जॉन स्टीवन रमेश एंड इलॉन सो यू कैन सी राइट हाउ सिंपल इट इज विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यू कंट्रोल्स यू कैन इट रोड ओवर द ऑब्जेक्ट सो यू आर why we are mentioning track item dot id because this is unique identifier and whenever we change something right so let's say i am uh, changing ramesh 1 ramesh to ramesh 1 so in that case what will happen instead of iterating over uh, this loop again it will just with the help of unique identifier it will recognize that this particular object uh, is changed so only this will get updated so in the in this way uh, you can improve the uh, performance of your uh, code as well right so it is uh, like uh, good to have this particular uh, track thing in your uh, code so that uh, performance will be boosted and in your project uh, we don't get uh, such simple objects right we get a much uh, complex object and that too we have thousands of uh, lines of object we get it through api so it uh, it would be better to use these things okay now uh, we have something called as ng switch okay so here i have copied actually the reference code so here i am pasting that and i will explain you okay so earlier we used to use ng switch okay but now we would be using this at the rate switch keyword in our html okay so here uh, since we have already learned about if else and for you must have figure out right so here this is at the rate uh, switch and here we are writing each case with the at the rate case here we need to provide that particular uh, case key and based on the uh, based on the value pass this line of code will be uh, printed okay so now this fruit is variable so if you see in my component.ts i have mentioned fruit and currently it is holding the value of apple so that is why the apple will get printed on your uh, application okay so but here you would face one more issue and that you will get whenever like you will uh, compile your application okay what that issue would be so let's say here i have mentioned like what are the possible values of fruit so fruit can either be apple orange or banana uh, let me remove some of uh, banana from this list and you will see in my terminal i would get, get one error okay so let's say uh, instead of this i'm just saying it's a string so right now uh, it is not giving any error but like if you uh, it's be, uh, best practice to provide the all the possible values in the form of this so that it is readable and you will uh, get the idea what possible uh, values we can get but the main point was uh, for ng switch as well the syntax has been changed uh, we are using at the rate switch fruit uh, is a variable over here and it is holding the value apple as of now so that is why we are uh, the value apple is getting printed but if i pass banana over here banana then the banana will get printed okay so these are the uh, major uh, control flows which we use in uh, uh, we use in angular and you would uh, you would see by using this your performance would be uh, significantly boosted okay so thank you for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my uh, channel for more videos like this